blockbuster Bob, yeah. So yeah, this video is uh, going to cinema trip tonight, me and my girlfriend, to watch the 50th anniversary of The Wicker Man, the 1973 folk horror classic. Um, I've only ever seen it once when I was very young. Um, I know it's kind of like a musical sort of element in it. It's on Christopher Lee, so I'm really interested. And I'm in the perfect backdrop where I am. Feels like I am in The Wicker Man. But uh, yeah, currently in work. I'll uh, be ditching that in a minute to do a trip to the cinema and yeah just give my thoughts and opinions straight after the movie and stuff and yeah cool morning so this is the morning after I didn't get in till really late last night, um, but yeah, it's ironic that uh, I'm currently at the garden growing some vegetables after watching The Wicker Man. Um, so yeah, the positives from last night, um, great to see that film on the big screen, it's outstanding. Forgot how good the score is. I've only previously ever seen this film once, as I stated earlier in the video. When I was very young, couldn't I was barely, I was really going into this movie uh, blind, really. Um, I couldn't even remember the plot or anything. So it was really good. Um, beforehand as well, having Reese uh, Shearsmith on, I think Edith Bowen done a great job, and the director's sons, and the female actress, can't remember her name, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, it was really interesting. They did show some clips from the film, which I was a bit, mm, but it was, it was good. Um, beforehand um yeah beautifully shot great score um i could definitely see where directors like ari aster had inspiration for his uh midsummer and stuff like that um so as other actors as well probably m night charm in the village uh, it was just so many i've seen in other films and it's just a great folk horror movie um I really need to delve more into the folk horror type films uh, like The Witch, I really enjoyed that. It needs a rewatch, I think. Now I'm on that uh, vibe. I so really love the concept of paganism versus Christianity and what is deemed religion and all the different practices, what we would think weird might be weird to them and vice versa. Really good. Also, stand up performance. Christopher Lee, outstanding in any role he does. He's just so cool, such a cool guy. And also, everyone else just made it feel so real that it could actually Negatives, happen. I think. A lot of people in the cinema assumed that it was a new horror film or something. And especially with the talk in at the beginning of the film, um, there was a lot of people in the cinema that just would not stop talking all the way through it. And then there was a sort of... 10 minutes into the actual movie, they realised this film's from the 70s, and they were, like, just getting up and walking out and stuff. And it was like, well, fucking ruin it for other people. But that was the only negative, really. Uh, other than that, it was a great, great film, great experience. Um, and I will be picking this up on Blu-ray because I don't have this in my collection. I'm possibly picking up the vinyl for the score. So, yeah, it's been a blockbuster. My name's Bob. Peace.